Hey, you. Guess what? I'm back! Hello everybody, my name is Jefferson, and welcome back to Decidedly Vanilla. It has been almost two months since I have recorded here, very long time. I had some personal things I had to take care of, and I moved into a new house. Very excited about that. Ooh, I broke a torch. Get back into view here. Uh, yes, my grandmother moved into an assisted living home. She's alright, she just uh, can't be in the house by herself anymore. So she moved out and I moved in. It's a very old house. It's actually the house my mother and three sisters were raised in. I don't know how they raised four girls in this house. It's very small. I may do a house tour video. We will see. Uh, but yeah, I am uh, pretty much settled in. There's a few things left to do. But I think I can get back into the swing of things here. Recording. I am very excited to be here on the server, been putting around a little bit, put in some of the prismarine lantern, the sea lanterns, into the build, one in the ground there, two in the ground there, and just working around, I got another portal set up, we need to link that up today, and I want to get my beacon in, let's get the armor back on, I have uh, all of the blocks, I could fortune up my like 50 something diamond ore and probably use diamond blocks down here uh, but we'll just go like this for now yeah there it is it's not full but it registers as the first tier right yeah it's not full power oh, I was thinking we were in 1.9 and I would see the effect in the top right but we're not that's all right uh, let's grab some orange glass. Turn it into an orange beacon. I think that will look cool. Uh, I would really like to at least have it alternate between red and, or, uh, orange and blue. I think that would be sweet. Orange and light blue to match our tower so far. Uh, but I'll keep working on that. I had a suggestion from Rick Clark in the comments uh, on a previous episode uh, suggesting to use the sea lanterns instead of the glowstone blocks and I tried that but they just stand out too much it's a very bright block uh, I'm going to stick with the glowstone blocks I'm going to put the stone brick half slabs or slabs underneath the all of the lamps but let's shoot over to the spider spawner, quad spider spawner. I did a little bit of work, just kind of cleaned it up. It's not finished. I need to wire the kill mechanism a little better. Uh, where is it? Over there? It's been a while. I think it's all cleaned up. We still need to light it. I'm not going to do that. Though. Watch your step. Not going to do that this episode. Maybe next episode. That's going to be a process on its own. Uh, but I think this is looking good so far. We can get an enchantment setup, more storage, and a brewing setup. But this is where they come out right here. And they'll either drop down one or they'll crawl up one. And right now, this. Whoa. My mouse has been doing that, speed clicking. Uh, that is the kill mechanism right now. If you count the damage they take up to 10, they're one hit after that. Uh, so it's just kind of a ghetto setup right now. We can go up here to the spawning area, which it's good to be out of range of these as you're like killing them and stuff like that because I don't want a lot of them spawning. And as I was working on it, uh, where do we go out here? They were all collecting right up there. Uh, so if that becomes a problem, if they don't all come down that way, then I'm just going to break the spawners and forget about this project. Uh, but I got it looking good. I like it. Got some spruce and some prismarine. Yeah. Some, what is this? 
the diorite on the floor. Very cool. Uh, so yeah, I'm feeling good about this. If it works, I will redstone this up so it's a timer. Uh, but for now, I'm just going to just manually count it. It works. They can't escape. Everything goes into there. Oh, hello. So we should close that back up with these two cobblestone. Boop, boop. Nice. And yeah, next episode we'll come back and fire it up. All right, well, I'm just making my way back into Freehaven. Ah, oh, that's so cool. And that's my beacon beam from the uh, Birch Forest Farms, the now sheep farm. I can see my beacon. So I'm wondering if my tower will render in once it gets above the tree line from here. That will be super cool. Oh, you can even tell it's orange. Wow. I guess beacon beams sure do shine like a beacon. <laughs> uh, the North Star. So cool. Wow. Oh, oh, it's fading. It's fading. That's very cool. I am happy about that. Uh, what's up, America? Somebody dyed the sheep red, white, and blue. That's cool. Community sheep farm. Help yourself. It's now a sheep farm with some community shears. Holy cow. Wow. That looks very cool with the moon. Kane's been working on his base. Looking good. Going up to the sky. All right. Through the tunnel into Freehaven. Don't look at that. Look at that. Nice. Ha ha. Uh, feels good to be home. Ha ha. Oh. There's a creeper on the roof of the hostillery. <laughs> uh, it looks like it is winter time here in Freehaven. Lots of snow. And I know it didn't come from the sky. So uh, somebody let some Brian's loose, it looks like. Uh, it's everywhere. Holy cow. I blame Kane. <laughs> yeah. Uh, what's this building? Is this oviraptors? Is this a house? It's a big house. <laughs> Not sure what that is. Is that a sign? Nope. Rip sign tower. Yep. Rip. <laughs> uh, let's check on the sugar shack. It's been a long time. Ah. Uh, see what we got in the payment chest. Oh, nice. I need that. And some gold. All right, we'll take it. <laughs> the payment is one iron ingot per stack. That is a fair deal. <laughs> Let's put that away. We'll bring the gold with us. Let's go to the front door of the house. There's a secret passageway back there that goes to my house. We can go around here. I think I'm going to get rid of that. That's the work shack for the DV Karakit Museum, which is uh, looking good. Yeah, did most of this work on stream together. Well, we all watched Kane build it. <laughs> uh, but here we are at my house. Ah, uh, yes, good to be home, good to be home. Mr. Pants, hi. Hi, do you like gold? Meow, okay. Oh. He doesn't like gold, I guess. Do you guys hear that? My couch is making noise. Stop it. Quiet down. <laughs> I don't think I want to sleep here. Cat just made a weird noise in real life. Uh, but yeah, this is it. A little attic upstairs. Nothing up there. All of my stuff is down in the basement. Ah, yes. The tower doesn't feel like home yet. I have my storage area set up there, but this is where it all started on the server. My enchantment system set up. I never don't know what to call this. <laughs> uh, right now, I am saving up my levels to do that. 38 levels. Not sure if it'll be worth it, but I want to do it. Nothing really else to do with my levels. I need to 
repair my shovel and my axe. Do I have backups? No, I just have... Oh, I do have a backup. Hmm. I'm going to switch this out while I'm here. What's this? I need a... I'm using silk touch. Maybe I need to repair... Where's Jefferson's diamond pickaxe? Right here. It has four durability. How much does it cost to repair this? That may... It's too expensive immediately. <laughs> I don't even put anything in there and it's too expensive. Alright. Uh, do we have item frame? Yep. Meow. Where's my cat? He's upstairs and he's making that much noise. Alright, this guy is going in the item frame. He cannot be repaired. Efficiency 5. Man, that stinks. So, uh, what can I use for a pick? All I have is fortune and silk touch. Mm, Alright, I guess I could just enchant that for three levels might as well see what we get okay uh, what do I do with that hmm I have an unbreaking book do I really want to use it on this uh, no we'll keep using the silk touch for now I'm fine with that there is mob farms Pixel Rift's patented mob spawner grinder things all over the server. I can get levels. I'm not sure if we've gone to the end. I think the end is closed until the uh, 1.9 release, and we'll go as a group. Very excited to see what the end and the uh, 1.9 uh, version... 1.9... <laughs> Uh, how that works on the server going to be very cool uh, but I'm going to uh, hang out here on the server just get reacquainted and we'll be back all right we are back and I was going to head into the nether and link up the portals but I noticed uh, as I was hanging out around a town that I have looting three showing on a diamond sword enchant so let's do that before we head out Never know what'll happen in the nether. I don't want to die. Saluting three, what else are we gonna get? Smite four, unbreaking three. That's a decent sword. I have... I have this guy right here, which we just need to get that to smite five. Man, all of my swords are level four. What's going on? <laughs> Alright, so yeah, this is my back entrance. Like in the Minecraft music. Keep that going for a while. Oh, these chests are full. I'm going to have to do a big sell with the villagers. Maybe find uh, a couple of villagers of our own. Let's get the fire resistance potion, ender pearls. I have obsidian and a flint and steel. I just want to get an easier way to the tower from Freehaven. Ooh, come on now. So we want to go negative 133, negative 136, 33. Okay. You mad, bro? Look at those parkour guys up there. <laughs> uh, so 136. Pretty close to everybody else's path. That's cool. We can go in right here. Bam, bam. 136 to 33. We can do this. Let's get a torch down. Kind of mark where we're going. 33. Oh, yeah. Not far at all. And we're there. Sweet. So just clear out a little area here. No lava pockets. Nice. A little bit of quits. Uh huh. All right. Now, let's just, uh, boop, boop. Boop. I don't really need quartz. Dang it. How did that misclick? Alright, I can get this. 
Nice. Alright, so hopefully this will link up right to our uh, tower. Let's see. Give me the flint and steel. That's very close to the uh, hub, which is perfect. I don't want to have a long tunnel. And I'm not very far away, and here we are. Nice. All right. Sweet. Easy access to Freehaven. I'll work on the tower off cam or tunnel off camera. Here we go. Yeah. Nice. Am I here? Yeah, I'm here. Sweet. Ah. Nice. All right. Cool. Let's go to the tower. Haha. <laughs> Don't really need much at Freehaven. Been doing a lot there. And I want to get a new project going in town. Need to figure out something. I want to get uh, probably a beef and leather shop. Maybe just a leather shop to go with our reeds and sugarcane farm. Oh, meow. Meow. I don't know if you guys hear Taz in the background. He's crying. He's, uh... He's adjusting all right to the new house. There's a lot for him to explore. Lots of spiders to kill. <laughs> uh, so, yeah. All right, what do we have? Lots of the netherrack. Drop this off. Is that where it goes? I think I have an overflow chest over here for netherrack. No? I should. One of these should be netherrack. Because we will end up with a bunch of that. Let's do that. Put some over here. Need to figure out what I'm doing with this storage system. If this is how I'm going to keep it. If I want to go up another level. Ha ah, yeah, with this uh Brother Johnson's shaders, sky unshaders. I think they're unshaders is what they're called. The sky looks so cool and the tower. Nice. Got this little setup to get my orange dye, because I need a lot of orange dye. Just grab some bone meal. And there's a uh, skeleton spawner. There's double chests on double chests of bones. So having a little farm like that is very cool. And yeah, I think around the tower I want to get the roadway system set up, figure out where the roads will be, and then from there we can start figuring out where the other buildings are going to go. Going to have like the dock and nether portal over here, kind of like a harbor area. Maybe some of Pixel's uh, crates lying around, things like that, and then come into the city have more buildings around. This is kind of like a bakery. I just had an idea for a build one day and threw that together. Uh, I like it. It's nothing like I uh, pictured in my head, but I like how it came out. And we'll keep working these big acacia trees around. I like the 2x2 two two acacias, which uh, they don't grow as one tree. You grow them separately, but it works. And yeah, the cow farm up there. We may keep our agricultural area up there. What's up, creepers? And yeah, I will uh, probably stay with the prismarine bricks for the roadway. Looks very clean, bright. I like it. Uh, so let me do some things around here. We'll be back. All right, we are back. I've been working on the roadway a little bit, trying to get that in. That's very cool, that moon. And I've got the outlining of a fountain set up, and it's work in progress. We'll see how it develops. I'll work on it off camera, trying to figure out what works best for like a city center. Uh, but I want to carry this theme throughout the roadway and the whole town here. Uh, with the bushes and the fancy fountains and the acacia trees. Yeah. So I think it'll come out very nice once it uh, all gets in. And this gives you a good example of what it'll look like. I don't have any of the uh, 
lanterns on me, but the lanterns will be along the center. Yeah, it's going to look good. Let's try to get the fountain in. Got the orange sandstone on the bottom. I need to stop this tree from floating. There we go. Nice. And been putting the coarse dirt around the bigger trees. Work that one in. I had to push this, and I'll probably keep pushing this uh, ground back. But I do want to keep an elevation change somehow. All of this stuff is on the same elevation. Maybe up here we'll keep some of this. And then we'll have stairway going up that way. Uh, but I don't want everything on the same flat land. I want to try to get some transitions throughout the city. We'll see. Maybe a couple here and there. But uh, let's get the water in. I don't have any dirt. Grab some dirt. Got lots of dirt up here. Ruff. Hey, buddy. Hi. Ha <laughs> ha. Uh, that'll do. Ah, I love, love this place. Just the feel of uh, underneath there is great. All right. So if we let's go one, two. Uh, just kind of. Uh. What is it am I thinking of? Uh, that tall? What's the word I'm thinking of? Just uh, winging it? <laughs> uh, let's see what this looks like. Uh, yeah, I like it. Get the dirt out of there. Get the beacon beam going again. That'll give a good amount of blueness. With the orange coming out of there. Uh, we may have to switch to a blue beacon. Let's try a blue beam. What's down there is going to get washed away. When I put uh, light blue, I'll take them both. Probably only need the one, but uh, I do have silk touch. Alright, so let's go right down the center. What's going to get washed away? Everything? Nope. Cool. So, light blue. See how that looks? Uh, let's do two of them. Alright, let me out. That was coarse dirt and a flower. Of course it was. <laughs> Ooh, yeah, I like the blue beam. Nice. Nice. Uh, yeah, I can live with that fountain. I need to fill fill the uh, the fountain in so it's uh, standing water at the bottom. Uh, I'll do that later. Hmm. Yeah, I think that looks good. I need to get something in here. Maybe I will uh, push the roadway into it closer. Have, I don't want to have a lot of this brick, though. Hmm. I'll figure it out. But I am excited to be back here on the server. And, yeah, I'm going to be playing a lot. Hopefully we'll get uh, at least an episode out a week here. Maybe more. Uh, but, yeah, that's going to do it for now. Until next time, as always, thank you. I will see you later. Thank you.